amazing cultivator simulator, which is like RimWorld, but a hundred times China? What does that mean? <laughs> what does something a hundred times China mean? Do I get social credits? It says cultivation, it's Chinese related. Cultivation? Interesting. Baby cultivating. Spiritual cultivation? Like, that mech mod? Agricultural, mystical agriculture in ATM8 mod pack where you can grow essence and then do mech stuff and then you can automate your process and then you can. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Are you easily entertained by seeing numbers get higher? Would you like to play the equivalent of that, except all the buttons have been replaced with Chinese symbols? Do you have a burning interest in Chinese martial arts, Taoism, well, or the pursuit like of immoral. immortality? Then I invite you to see where my life has spiraled out of control for the past two months. Amazing cultivation <laughs> simulator. Keep in mind, I only paid money for this after 50 hours. I've been playing this for so long that all my ads are in Chinese. Amazing cultivation simulator is a love letter to Chinese wushu novels. Essentially, Chinese sword fantasy. The word is like a sound because it's meant to sound like a sword swipe. In the novels, cultivation is the cultivation of one's internal chi. Fruit practice, martial arts, meditation, this is whatever. Just a and chi is the vital breath or essence of our living world, according to the same people who stick needles in your back. The end goal of cultivation is, of course, immortality. And that is what this whole game is about. Essentially, you're going to take a small group of <laughs> Chinese rice farmers and turn them into demigods. To begin, I need to dispel any notion at all that this is Chinese rim world. I do this by comparing them directly. For example, we need a refrigerator. I'm going to build one. We need a refrigerator. I'm going to drop the frozen soul of a demon and reduce the temperature to absolute zero. The room is too cold. We need air conditioning. The room is too cold. Rebuild it out of wood and make the bed out of fire. Now our disciple won't die of frostbite. He'll die of heat stroke. My colonist uh -oh. is crippled, disabled, and completely geriatric. So the cheapest option is to put him down. My disciple is an old, disabled nugget. We have regrown each of his limbs. Also, he's now a 14-year-old boy. We're under attack by bandits. We should get inside to safety. A man just decapitated my best friend from over 10 kilometers away with a flying fedora. Once you get past the obvious comparisons, you'll never mistake this game for anything else. To begin, you'll need to go through the tutorial. It's it's very quick and gives you a bit of background to the story. Unfortunately, the English voice acting is questionable. Luckily, this is a fantasy game, so the sound of women is optional. In contrast, the music is lovely and the visuals are gorgeous. Completing the tutorial unlocks the actual game, Giga which is clearly yeah. and unambiguously labeled classic, which upon clicking will show a huge list of sliders and settings to scare away the casual guaylo. Don't touch anything, <laughs> just hit confirm. Next, you're gonna get trolled by the Chinese because the developers think it's really funny that there's an almost certain guarantee that you just rolled a Yao Guai as one of your starting characters. Let me explain, white boy. In this world, you can cultivate as either a human or a Yao Guai, which translates to monster, but really we're referring Furry. to demons. Yao Guai, henceforth referred to as yogurts, are animals that have gained sentience and become humanoid. However, their existence is unnatural and eventually they have to face tribulation from the heavens. It's sort of like God's punishment for being a furry. I oh. wish I knew that before I lost my first waifu to a storm cloud. But because the random character selection randomizes race and 11 out of 12 of those races are different flavors of yogurt, you're <laughs> very likely to land that. Until you know what you're doing, I don't recommend starting with dairy products. But if you want to speedrun the game, I recommend starting as the fastest animal on land. A turtle. You'll starve to death before you even reach the <laughs> dinner table. Beyond this point, there's not much advice I can give. You're gonna suffer and you're gonna learn from the experience. So pick your starting perks and get into the game. Everybody recommends True Sun Refining as your starting law because it's got very simple progression. And if you make a mistake, worst case scenario, you'll just die in horrific <laughs> agony. If you follow the plot, the entirety of a Taiyi sect has been annihilated. You and a handful of others are the only survivors. 
Why was it destroyed? And by who? Whomst did this? Are questions you'll have to answer if you want to uncover the mystery of a Taiyi sect. But uh, right this now, like your primary Rimworld. concern is survival. To help a mysterious cultivator who was tight with your former sect leader drops by for the next two weeks. As long as he's alive, you're not gonna die. That is, unless you go to the bottom left of a map. In which case, you will both die. Let's get definitions going. You're running a sect, a school of cultivation. A sect has outer disciples that will happily do all of your mundane, tedious labor for a competitive salary of about zero dollars. They're not slaves. As per se, we don't use that word here. It's more like an internship, which never ends. But through a high-intensity jujitsu program known as Foundation, they can become inner disciples. An inner disciple must choose one of the many supreme laws to follow, through which they cultivate a higher state of being. Their progress, abilities, this and is potential is largely determined by their character stats and background. Like RimWorld, everyone in this game generates with a random background, such as congenital defect, seashell collector, and effeminate male. The combination of stats will determine their compatibility with a chosen law. You start with just one, but you'll unlock the rest as the game goes on. Also, they don't have to eat but they still do. It's not uncommon to see a cultivator feasting on ramen, even if there's currently a famine, especially if we're currently having a famine. Also, pro tip, you start with a single forming pill. What's this that? can instantly finish your foundation and give you an inner disciple right at the start. After oh. promotion, you can go to the sect tab and hit establish a sect, and most importantly, give it a cool name. Once that happens, you have officially <laughs> incorporated. The rest of the game opens up. Inner disciples don't work. They cultivate and get Get stronger. After all, this is Taoist Dragon Ball Z, but after incorporation, you can send them out to explore the world. There's wow. two options, camp and adventure. Adventure sends them out on adventures. They leave and they come back. Camp sends them out to stay. And if you're so inclined, you can physically enter the map and plunder a village. At the wow. start, your map's gonna look like this. Immediately, you're gonna notice something. One, there's barely any locations because you haven't discovered them. And two, if you try to explore the red zones, you're gonna come home in a body bag because that's not your territory. So whose is it? A great way to find out is to visit them directly and prank them by sneaking inside their school. Once they catch you, they'll give you a proper introduction. Break your knees, snap your spine, eyes and gouge, gouge your eyes out. The other sects aren't very sociable, oh but gosh. diplomacy <laughs> is important nugget. because if they felt so inclined, they could obliterate us. To even get an audience with them, you have to make an offering. Your offering doesn't matter. Each time, they're gonna call you a broke-ass bitch anyway. That's why we wait for a cow to defecate, mark it as the trade area, and send our gift. Now, you can <laughs> trade. In a world of immortality, money is an abstract concept, so we're working on a purely barter-based economy. However, we still have a form of currency, and yes, it's completely Edible. Spirit stones are the chocolate coins of this world. You can trade them during break time for Pokemon cards or consume them directly to restore a small amount of diabetes. In this case, they restore a small amount of chi, so they function as both a store of wealth and a means of exchange. Each sect offers something different for ridiculous amounts of money. And uh, even if you have a stacks to pay for it, we're not selling. That would be like Why? selling weapons to your enemy. And how oh. do we know we can trust you? So you have to butter them up. This is oh. mainly done by asking asking people across the world whether the leader of a sect prefers cats or dogs and gifting him the appropriate kind of meat. Let's return to matters back at home. Feng Shui is a Chinese system of thought governing spatial arrangement and orientation in relation to the flow of qi. Maybe Have I a should look. Play this. Here's some simple Chinese alchemy that I expect you to memorize by about 200 hours of play. Why do I have to learn this? Because everything in this game is subject to Feng Shui. Everything has an oh, element and they interact goodness. with one another. Water nourishes is wood. Wood feeds fire. Fire cools to make the earth. Earth produces metal, and metal holds the water, allowing it to repeat the cycle. Okay, that's cool, Seth, but we don't have time for this. Wait, did my guy just die of heart palpitations? Why is the yin-yang symbol in this bedroom red? What the fuck does ominous mean? When in doubt, Bad check feng the shui. pentagram. Room of wood, bed of earth. Wood defeats earth, making the feng shui of a bedroom ominous. And if you sleep <laughs> in that bedroom, you'll die of a heart attack. Replace the earth bed with a fire bed, and as wood feeds fire, the feng shui will become auspicious, which means good. However, if you sleep in that bedroom, you'll die of heat stroke. That's because fire and water control the temperature. In a more relevant scenario, each of the supreme laws practiced by your cultivators has an element. Feng Shui affects the speed and 
success of their practice. So if you're a metal cultivator, you would avoid fire as fire melts metal. However, if you told oh. him to meditate in an empty room and fed him laxatives, the speed of his cultivation would increase with the volume of shit he produces, <laughs> as feces is the element of earth which promotes metal. If you're confused, I sympathize. There is no way you could possibly know that in Feng Shui, the orientation of a room's door is specific to its function. In other words, bedrooms face south, workshops east, and kitchens west. That's why everything in this game has a comment box, so you and your fellow Guilos can share ideas about what the hell is going on. Now, the main focus of this game is cultivation <laughs> towards immortality, which can be summarized by the following post. You eat a pill, sit on your ass for several years, and once you're done, you go from rank 8 ping pong to rank 2 ching chong, which is still like 100 ranks below the heavenly golden dragon god emperor star ancestor. But it's okay, what since the there fun? are still about 3,000 chapters to go, and all the big dick characters that could kill you with a fart are currently busy. So you can go and wipe out a ding dong clan, which obsessively wants you dead because you court to death by destroying the King Kong clan after its young master picked a fight with you over your jade-like beauty I do not condone friend. that. Essentially, you're going to perform a bunch laughed. of opaque, esoteric, and poorly understood processes to help you reach a higher power level. There's three types of cultivation in this game, and I'm going to mispronounce all of them. Xian Dao, Shen Dao, and Physical. Xian Dao is most relevant because it makes up 90% of the game. Your process of cultivation is this derived is from Chinese internal Nick alchemy, mod. where instead of a cauldron, you use your body, and instead of reagents, you use your chi to form a golden core. <laughs> Think of a philosopher's stone, except backwards. That's what a golden core is. Instead of drinking the elixir of life, we are the elixir of life. Xian Dao is unique since you can transcribe your knowledge to a manual. This means a single cultivator can study from every other law and become exponentially more powerful. This can lead to interesting situations where someone might learn skills they really weren't supposed to, such as a male cultivator learning lunar form from the sunflower refining law and by doing so reversing his sex. Becoming female in this game results in the loss of your penis, which can be picked up and sold on the open market. You can even make money off this by regrowing your penis, which will, upon realizing that you're not meant to have one, detach immediately. Each time you harvest a crop of penis, you become the dick farmer. But I digress. To reach a higher power level, you have to perform a breakthrough. This is essentially a bottleneck in your trade which you have to overcome or you can't progress. Golden Core, however, is different. It is the single most important breakthrough of your career. Every condition has to be perfect. The season, the weather, the time of day, the mental state of a cultivator, the element of a room, the chi density, and the amount of chi flowing through the cultivator's meridians. Get all those right and you just might get a better result than I did. I genuinely thought I did pretty good for my first time. Tier 9, I thought to myself, that's a pretty high number. Number. Tier 9 is the lowest tier of Golden Core. It is trash. Literally, swallow a rebirth pill and reincarnate yourself, my man. You fucked up. Early on, your Golden Cores are gonna suck. But with experience comes knowledge. And once you learn core? how, you'll be making some fat cores on a regular. Then there's Shendao cultivation. Instead of cultivating your chi, you take in the chi of others through worship. Belief is power. And the more people believe in you, the more powerful you become. Once you establish yourself, as a divine being with a realm of heaven, you can be the petty god you've always wanted. As a rule, I only answer bad prayers. Drought, bandits, famine, refuse. Don't waste my time. You wish that tomorrow your favorite brothel prostitute hasn't been taken? Granted. You want your boss to step in dog shit? Granted. You want the guy who stole from you to be struck by lightning? My pleasure. You want those annoying neighbors next door to die in horrific agony? Me too. You want someone to celebrate your birthday with you this year? Granted. At some point, I learned to stop worrying and love Shandao. Also, they get the most ridiculous titles. Just imagine that every prayer addressed to you has to be prefaced with Dear Primordial, True Venerated, Great <laughs> Pardon, Supreme Virtue, Venerated Holy Emperor. That leaves us with physical cultivation. What is physical cultivation? It's an inner disciple that spent the last 50 days remolding his phallus. Due to the mental state bonus of having a gigantic penis, he is now physically immune to depression. 
In all seriousness, you take a mortal and you turn him into a Super Saiyan. Every body part, limb, joint, bone, and organ of your body, you can remold until you become Goku. And then you give him intense PTSD so he can channel those repressed memories to increase his attack power from 1 million to 7 million and one shot the entire game. Also, since every yogurt comes from a different animal, they all have unique anatomy that's different to humans, which means for every species of demon you turn to physical cultivation, there's tissue, bones, and organs not found anywhere else. In other words, fuck your opposable thumbs. I got vertebrae fused to my carapace. Sooner or later, your sect is gonna be attacked by bandits, demons, or other cultivators, with the exception of physical cultivators, which remove organs with their bare hands. Xian Dao and Shen Dao cultivators fight using artifacts. What is an artifact? Well, anything. A Kleenex tissue, a bowl of ramen, a bag of flour, so a bucket of water, Whoa, a like pile of world. shit, severed male genitalia. As long as you enchant it, you can use it. Preferably, try to enchant an actual weapon. Although, you can't deny it's very demoralizing to see your fellow bandit get decapitated by blue fabric summer shirt. <laughs> Combat is basically your guys sit around and watch as their artifacts cut everyone to pieces. It's pretty fun to watch, especially larger battles, where the sky is nothing but swords. Of course, no cultivation is complete without embracing traditional Chinese medicine. That's right alchemy. Here's a good summary well, of more. what alchemy is like. Change the weather. Lose 20 years of your natural lifespan, which may sound bad, until you visit the local Chinese pharmacy and pop a pill which adds 500, another which adds 280, and wash it all down with some mineral water which adds another 99. Now the only thing you have to cure is perpetual baby face, which is a common symptom when you have a lifespan of 3000. You want something done? Yeah, there's a pill for that. Obesity? No problem. Not a beast enough? I gotcha. Would you like to prank a demon? Force feed him a rebirth pill and he'll reincarnate right back into a piece of pork on your dinner plate. The cycle of karma is a fickle mistress. Honestly, if alchemy made any more sense, I'd actually be upset. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna put myself in a coma for three days. About 30 days in, you're gonna get a pet. A divine pet. This is different to normal pets, which you adopt into your sect by shooting them with hunting bows, which are somehow blunt and tipped with anesthetic. This may sound very stupid, but on the other hand, Gundo Musashi had bullets that put you to sleep, and that was a masterpiece. Anyway, he starts off as a baby and grows larger Aww. with time. He's also a little shit, and you're gonna have to keep an eye on him before he destroys your sect. For example, my friend saw one of his cultivators doing a breakthrough, and he thought to himself, fuck, my man is literally shitting himself. This is one <laughs> intense breakthrough. Turned out his dog was feeding laxatives to all of his inner disciples. It is your responsibility to teach them right from wrong. <laughs> Peasants slacking on the job? Yes. Attack outer disciples. Give them some cardio. Drug inner disciples with euphoria pills? Why not? Give them some opium. An injured stranger wants our help? Yes. Attack unknown mortals. Kill them. Whether you raise him to be a functional member of society or a four-legged sociopath <laughs> is entirely up to you. You can even rename him to something a little more Chinese. If you include the what Bamboo the Forest DLC, which adds a pair of pandas, there's five pets in total. They're incredibly cute and generally amazing. At yeah, the beginning, bigger. your sect can only hold 12 members. This increases to 24, then 36 as your reputation increases. Reputation also increases the power it's level like of invading World. enemies. Don't let this number get out of control or you'll experience firsthand what it's like to lose a 50-hour game in five seconds, which is a good time to inform you that in this game, you can draw Chinese talismans with your mouse, the accuracy of which determines the blessing. You can even draw on a blank sheet of paper and it's still gonna work. I know this because somebody drew a swastika and apparently they can now use the oven 12% faster. So please draw a bunch of invisibility Sad. scrolls and wear them when you go on adventures. Your sect will thank you each time they haven't been murdered in your absence. It's not easy to make stacks in this game, which is why we have to trick villagers into filling our ranks. We do this by making small talk, finding out that He's half definitely of them love nothing more than to ravenously sure. consume shit and invite them over. Because we're gonna need a lot of manpower for our Chinese sweatshop. 
up as inner disciples cultivate immortality. Outer disciples cultivate huge plantations of cotton. We're gonna process that down to fabric and we're gonna wait because very soon a merchant is gonna show up. He operates on a sweatshop economy. He's gonna pay you garbage, so you better have a high volume of garbage to sell. He Luckily, did say our emaciated low. peasants have worked hard this summer and we just earned That's 10, a really bad spirit sword. stones. We're gonna That's celebrate like worse by losing than it all instantaneously. The other jokes he because made the in this merchant video. also sells an invitation to an exclusive event. Read the token and we're off to the auction house. Have you ever gone to an auction where you can't even see what's being sold, but instead are given a vague description? That's, Hard, yeah, you, lunky. You cannot, a man's hand shoots up. I'll take it for 10,000. Not to be outdone, I raise his offer. I'll take it for 12,000. Another joins in. 13. Another raises. 14. The rest fold because How they're poor as fuck. Holy but shit, this video is long. Those who remain keep raising. Eventually, there's only two of us. Here? Essential to the plot has died of old age. Still, I wasn't entirely sure about the story, so I had to bring in the expert, resident merchant, aficionado of Ben 10 porn, and mentioned on several no-fly listings across Thailand. Hello, my nigga. I, I become rap people because I eat watermelon. Jap. His hard drive died about five times while ex What? <laughs> What the wars, fuck is except going in this on? case, the Chinese are winning. If you're interested, this movie, I mean, this movie, this video is so weird, but it's funny, but it's weird. First uh, five minutes was okay. The movie, that was a weird movie. Play it, it's kind of dank. I mean, I would just play Rimworld. I, I don't like that he said Guaylo. He shouldn't have said that. That is very racist. The feng shui seems so dank, though. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like the fucking furniture alignment. What does a slur mean? It's a slur like no purpose flower. You can't say that. Do not say that. Hey, no hate criming. Except against clankers. Fucking AI bitches. Oh, Karen's also a slur. You're not supposed to call people Karen's. Um, the R word is a slur, but Twisha doesn't care about that one. Um. Where's like the slurred tier list on Twitch? Oh yeah, they uh, yeah, you're not supposed to call people simps, incel, or virgin either. You're not supposed to say it in an insulting manner. You say inbred? Well, I don't know. I, isn't that kind of a culture? Don't use the N something T word? What's that? Nut? NFT? <laughs> oh shit. 